Hello there, Lloyd at Thoroughbred Cars. Um, just talking you through this 156. This is the 2.5 V6 engine. Misfire. Investigating on one, two, and three, which is uh, this bank here. Um, obviously, we checked these spark plugs and ignition coils. They were actually swimming in water. I uh, don't know how the water's got there. I think the customer did have it um, steam washed, so maybe that's the culprit. Anyway, we've uh, renewed the coils and renewed the spark plugs. Put new seals gaskets. Uh, check the wiring. Are these these are known to our account, um, but that wasn't the case on this. Uh, wiring was all okay. Put it all back together. Drives like a dream. It's uh, it, it it really does take off. But still, ping one, two, and three comes back. So we're in for a uh, checking the timing now. So we go ahead and do this. So these are the cam locks, and they should lock on the um, on the lobes on the cams. So we didn't have a problem with this front bank, but let's check that anyway. So that locks in nice, as you can see. That's a nice snug fit. Uh, let's check this one. Not great. See, if I was doing a cam build on this one, I think I'd just adjust that slightly. It's a, just a little bit out. Um, oh yeah, we've done this one. Let's check this one. Same story on this one, really. It's, it's in, but it's not great. There is a slight cap there. Room for improvement. And this first one. That's just not good. Um, it doesn't fit. There's no way out of that. The timing is out. Um, what would that be, a tooth, half a tooth? Would it be enough to create a misfire on cylinder one, two and three? Don't know. But it does have to get sorted. That's got to be the next step. So, customer uh, tells us the cam belt was replaced, uh, I think he said a couple of years ago. It's done hardly any miles since. Um, he wasn't confident that it would be the timing, um, but yet, there we have it. Well, to be continued, it will have to get addressed, um, put all back together and, and see where we go. Uh, even though the belt is relatively new, I'd definitely advise um, putting a new one on. I don't like timing a, a, a belt twice, uh, especially for a reason like this. Obviously, it could be stretched or, or God knows. So we're going to see if we can get a new belt on there, um, tensioner. Adjust that, probably nip small adjustments to these two. Put it all back together, clear the codes, give it another run. Okay, so we're um, back together now. Um, new belt has been fitted, it has all been timed up and the cams have been adjusted where need. Hopefully it's all true. We're going to turn it over twice by hand uh, and then put the locks on and see if it all keeps in time. So bear with me a second, I'm just going to turn it over. That's one.
and that's two. So, let's see how accurate it has become. So we're gonna try with the first cam. This was good anyway. Perfect. Second cam, this one was a little bit wobbly, but it wasn't a problem. That's now perfect. Third cam, this one again was a little bit off. Perfect. And the problem was always here. Look at that. Perfect. So we've got four perfectly timed up cams. Tension has all been reset, belt's been replaced. Going to uh, put everything back together and drive it down the road, see if we can clear the misfire one, two, three. Um, and hopefully, jobs are good. Em. Final test drive has been complete. And she's purring like a kitten. No thoughts come back on the diagnostics. Uh, so case closed, timing resolved, misfire sorted, signing out.